personally, I'm not a fan of games that push forward the whole scantily clad sexual appeal theme, so going into Catherine, I was honestly not expecting much. I heard about it from other people, and others were telling me, oh, it's a great story, and the block puzzles are really cool, and all that, and I understood, but at the same time, hearing those praises and just the way they said it, it just, it just drew me further away from the game, if I'm going to be honest. Like, Catherine was one of those games that I thought I was never going to touch because of the subject matter, and that's just a personal thing. But at the same time, just the way they were describing the gameplay, I was honestly not interested in playing it at all. It wasn't until, uh, probably... A little after I came to Philadelphia to attend Temple University that one of my friends, his name is Tyler, he eventually convinced me to try it out, and eventually I picked it up and I went for it. And not only was I shocked at what I was experiencing, I was actually really invested in the game. I mean, there was still a personal gripe I have with it, it's more of the fact that I was, I was satisfied with what I saw, but at the same time a new problem was presented to me, but I'm, get, I'm gonna get to that in a bit. First of all, what I like about the game, the story, wow! I gotta say, Atlas has further demonstrated what they can do in terms of story. I mean, Atlas has done Persona, Atlas has done Trauma Center, and the way they write the story of Catherine is really intriguing, especially for a man who's going through those same experiences, one who struggles with uh, the idea of being like, loyal to their girlfriend or like you know the at the themes of cheating and whatnot and frankly the way it's told is really really cool and at the same time the way it's presented like in terms of the art style and like the background music and everything i gotta say catherine is one of the more beautiful games i've honestly played the visuals are amazing the soundtrack is actually really good it features some original pieces obviously like which are kind of a classic for Atlas's soundtracks if you ever played any of, the, any of their games, and at the same time, their level themes were actually renditions of classical composers' most famous pieces. In fact, the final boss theme uh, was a rendition of Chopin's revolutionary etude, and that has become one of my favorite final boss themes as of late. And going into the gameplay, now that, now that I'm mentioning the level themes, um, the block puzzles? is pretty pretty good actually it's basically pushmo with a twist all you have to do basically is go up the uh, rising tower of blocks and push uh, blocks in push blocks out and basically and they throw in gimmicks uh, with uh, different types of blocks and then you got the boss fights that basically give you even more obstacles and let me tell you some of the boss fights in this game creepy as all heck I'm like don't even get me started with the baby boss fight oh my lord that thing scared the crap out of me but that being said, therein lies my problem with Catherine. It's not the, uh, it's not the sexual appeal of it. My main problem with Catherine is the dichotomy of it. It's, like, it's trying to be one thing, but at the same time it's trying to be another. Like, what I mean is that, uh, the story element of Catherine, like Vincent's struggle to be loyal to Catherine with a K, or succumb to the seductions of Catherine with a C, that's actually a, kind of a clever idea, by the way. Um, that whole story element of the game, I think should have been just a visual novel, like keep the choice system of whether you want to go one way or another, and make it more like Phoenix Wright, I guess you could say, I mean, take the, uh, like not investigative or anything like that, but you know what I mean, basically make it a visual novel where you can uh, explore the world and choose where you choose what you want to do, and then make the block puzzles of the game its own thing. Like, it feels like it's two separate games trying to be one thing, and it honestly feels really clunky, because when I was invested in the story of Catherine, I felt like my investment was ripped out of me when I switched over to the block puzzles, and it honestly felt really, really mishmash, and I honestly didn't like that. But I guess that's sort of a nitpick on my part. Overall and objectively, I think Catherine is a pretty decent game. It's got great visuals, it's got great music, and one of the more compelling stories I've seen in video games in a long time. And it pretty much just has block puzzles thrown in. In my opinion, that's enough for me to say give it a shot.